I'm just going to jump right in because I really want to respect your time. This is such a valuable um, topic of discussion and there's a lot to cover. So I made myself some slides so that we wouldn't get distracted. So this is all about what do I teach for homeschool if I want to focus on character, right? We know that the we're supposed to do, but then we can stumble over ourselves as we think, well, then what am I supposed to teach? <laughs> first things first, there is no such thing as one thing fits all, period. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise. So what I'm going to be sharing is what worked for my husband and I with homeschooling. Take everything with a grain of salt, use what is applicable to you, and then leave the rest sitting on the table. Ready? So please say hello. If you have questions, know that the screen that I'm looking at does not show me the comments right now. So if you have comments and questions, I will circle back in a minute. And at the very end, I will go through any questions that are in the threads, but please stop say hello, tell me where you're from. You may have to say your name because this program doesn't let me see your name. So anyway, by the end of this video, we're going to cover the four pieces that are necessary to make this all make sense. We're going to talk about heart and character, master home school goals, the foundations that we should cover, and then this thing that I call secret sauce. So you ready? So why do we start with the heart? Why do we start with heart and character? I know that you've seen this analogy before where you somebody will stand and they'll have a, a jar and they'll have big rocks, medium rocks, little rocks, and sand. And they'll do this demonstration where they put the sand in first and then there isn't room for the rocks inside the jar. Then they'll dump it all out and then, then they'll put in all the rocks first and put the sand in later. And suddenly everything fits, right? We've seen this demonstration before. Homeschooling is just like this or homeschooling from the heart to the heart, training character and attitude is like this. We focus on the heart and then the character and the attitude first and then all the sand all the academics, all the math, all the life skills, all the, the stuff that everybody else thinks is school fits. But boy, if we fill up with the academics first, there isn't time to address heart and attitude and character. So 100% my broken record with talking to homeschoolers is always, always start with the heart of homeschooling first. And at the very end, I'm going to show you how you can get a free co a PDF copy of my book, Homeschooling from the Inside Out, which gives you some gentle skills and tools to help you actually zero in and focus on the heart and the character of your kids. The beauty is that when you do that, you're you give yourself time and space to focus on the academics and you don't have to compromise on the most important pieces. So if you've never met me before, my name is Becky. I am the professional Nerf bullet dodging mom, five rambunctious sons. Our youngest is now 17, um, but we've been homeschooling over 25 years. And because of my husband's vision and because of the way that he has governed and guided us in homeschooling. We have developed this um, homeschooling from the inside out, focusing on heart and character, and it has transformed and become this thing called homeschooling with secret sauce, which I will tell you about at the end. So once you've recognized that you are focusing in the heart and the character of your kids, the next thing that I want you to realize, the next pillar of understanding, well, what is it that I'm supposed to teach is this idea of master homeschool goals. I remember sitting at the kitchen table crying because I was surrounded by kids and curriculum and I had no idea what it was I was supposed to do. And I was frustrated. And my husband said, Becky, why are you crying? like, because there's no way I can do this. I can't teach four or five different curriculums. I really need to, I just, I can't do it. I'm going to fail. And he's like, push the curriculum aside, 
by the time the kids graduate high school, what is it that we want them to know? And I thought, okay, that's a really good idea, a <laughs> good question. I don't know what the answer to that question is. So it took us a little bit, took us a couple of days, but we came up with our master homeschool goals. And I'm going to encourage you to wrestle with this same question. By the time your kids graduate high school, what is it that you want them to know? I was chatting with another homeschool mom yesterday or the day before, and we were chatting about schedules. And she was frustrated because in her day, as she was finding that school was going on and on and on until five o'clock at night. And we were talking about strict schedules or rhythm and flow schedules. And when I told her about this master homeschool goals, I said, because you're at this place where you have to make a choice. If your goal is to focus on the heart and character of your kids, then you're going to find freedom in homeschooling. But if your goal is to finish the curriculum, then you're going to find that that weighs you down and it binds you. So what are your master homeschool goals? I'm going to encourage you, if you don't know, to, to use ours as a starting point. So you can borrow our homeschool goals. The very first center homeschool goal for the sailors is to share our faith with our kids in everything that we do. The next thing is that we give our kids the ability to master their basic math facts. You know, the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, percentages, decimals, measurements, that kind of stuff, and some basic algebra. Super important. The next goal is that we marinate our kids in literature. Marinate read alouds, sharing stories, talking about stories, independent reading, group reading, just marinating in literature. And then our last goal is that by the time our kids graduate high school, that they would be excellent communicators. They'd have excellent communication skills on paper and orally, standing in front of a crowd. Super important. So once you have your your homeschool goals, and I'll just put an arrow right here. So you have your master homeschool goals set. Now we can move on to the next thing. You'll be ready for the foundations of academics. Until you have your master homeschool goals, I would encourage you to not get too deep into trying to figure out what to teach because curriculum is a really big hurdle and it can cause us to be filled with overwhelm and frustration and self-doubt and all the things. So understand that you're going for the heart and the character and the attitude first, okay? Heart, attitude, character first. Nothing in your lesson plan is more important than that. Then knowing that your master homeschool goals of what we want our kids to know by the time they graduate high school are in place, now you're ready for academics. And the academics for the early years in homeschooling are all about those foundations, basic math facts, really knowing those math facts inside and out, lots and lots and lots of reading, doing all sorts of things that develop fine motor skills, which include things like writing and spelling and that kind of stuff, but fine motor activities, gross motor activities, exploring the world and things around from the, from the viewpoint of being curious, science, curiosity, and then taking broad strokes in history to see what is it that's bubbling to the surface, right? So this foundation section in what we're going to teach our kids really has to do with the core four or five uh, the core, the fifth one being if you are teaching your kids a biblical foundation or your faith foundation, and then you have your math, language, arts, history, and science as your core. And then you're just, just doing the basics. Just like if you were building a house, you would start with the foundation and then you're framing the walls. And somewhere around the age of 12, that's where the decoration starts to happen. Just like if you're building a house where you get to add your favorite colors and your favorite textures, that's when kids start to, uh, that's when, oh, and if you don't know what to teach foundationally, sorry, backing up a step or two, 
If you don't know what to teach foundationally, you can look at any curriculum, you can look at the state standards wherever you are, and you can see, oh, a benchmark for kids my children's age, is this, these are the types of things that they would be learning. Now, I found the standards to be a little bit overwhelming. And when COVID hit back in 2020, I instantly, my husband says, Becky, you have got to help all these people that are flooding in. And I was like, great, how am I gonna help everybody? So what I did is I went through the state standards from kindergarten to fifth grade, and I rewrote them in, I can teach my child statements. So if it talked about being able to add or subtract single digit numbers, I would write it into a sentence, like I can teach my child how to add. And so that link for that is in the descriptions. Um, it's a complete set, kindergarten through fifth grade, and it's there for you as a resource. But at some point when you're teaching, your kids' talents and interests and passions are going to start emerging. They're going to start bubbling to the surface. <laughs> and this is where...